Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the fight front once again. Um, as you know, Jamal Charlo, he lost an opponent, Willie Monroe Jr., uh, this coming Saturday, December 22nd, uh, after Willie Monroe Jr., he uh, tested positive for a banned substance. Higher, a, a higher level of testosterone, you know, than normal. And um, they also said something about him taking a testosterone booster as well as the uh, some other banned substance that was found in his system. So um, he's out now, December 22nd. And as you know, Charlo, he has a new, new opponent. Um, in line who I'll do a video on next but um you know this actually sucks man because um all year long boxing they it's just been facing these obstacles you know whether it's missing weight or uh failed tests right when you think you got a fighter who's going to prepare and go for the challenge the right way you know this type of shit happens you know I mean um I mean really it's not too upsetting like I said this is nothing new you know we've we've dealt with stuff like this um you know the prior year you know every year before that you know there's always somebody you know doing this either testing dirty like i said or or missing weight but it really sucks because it continues to put a damper on the middleweight division you know in particular you know um at the beginning of the you know not the beginning of the year but back in like august or uh june and july we we did a jab podcast episode uh, you know, talking about the middleweight division, you know, everything seemed uh, like everything was in in line, you know, the stars were aligned. But all of a sudden now you got guys like, you know, Billy Joe Saunders, you know, pulling the scumbaggery, you know, he's popping, um, just acting a fool out of the ring as well. That's kind of messing up his uh, chances to become a champion or a real champion. Then you got Demetrius Andre, he's getting busted with an uh, unregistered weapon. Then, of course, that before before all that, you had Canelo getting popped earlier this year. So. It's just kind of crazy, man, because now you got Charlo, who, who is trying to actually climb the ladder and, you know, come closer to a championship belt. And then his opponent gets popped. You know, uh, I know a lot of people said they don't care because, you know, they feel Willie Monroe Jr. ain't really a big a big uh, challenge for Charlo. But he is a step up and he is a common name that Billy Joe and uh, Triple G also share. So we needed to see Charlo in there with this type of level of opponent or, you know, somebody along that line. But. Now you got uh, Willie Monroe Jr. out of the fight now, so we have to take a, a late replacement. But um, this ain't this ain't really a Willie Monroe Jr. video, you know, bashing video. But um, I just lose res I lost a lot of respect for him here because I mean, he seems like a likable guy. You know, he's knowledgeable. Uh, you know, he's cut from the boxing cloth. You know, his father was a boxer, so you would think he would. You think you would think his moves would be more dedicated to the sport, not just taking shortcuts in any way. But you know we never know you never know the pressures on a fighter you know a fighter is still human and the pressure of a fighter fighting a top guy in charlo or you know on a new network you know we never know what that could lead to you know um you never know what kind of pressures or stress they are dealing with where they feel like oh i got to perform to that that higher level so i might have to try this out you know um there's a lot of pressure on a man but that's still not an excuse to cut corners you know just remember that the other man that you're facing, he's facing the same challenges and he's trying to do it the le legit way. You know, he's facing the same stress as you. Uh, he's sharing the same ring as you. And at the end of the day, both of you guys are getting in the ring and facing off. So when it comes to PEDs or any type of steroids, you have to remember the well-being of the other fighter. And you got to think first when it comes to that type of stuff. So William Monroe Jr., really, there is no excuses. I mean, I would like to hear his side of it. You know, I haven't really heard any other word from him. Uh, just the WBC, you know, they were the ones that was just dropping this line that uh, he tested positive and now he's out of the fight. Uh, he hasn't really tried to deny it in any way, of course, or, you know, he hadn't really spoke on it. But I would like to hear him speak on it. You know, I just want to know what the deal was, um, and how it got in his system and uh, what made him do it. Because uh, some people, you know, they were saying um, some legit or they had legit arguments like, oh, maybe they feel like he doesn't have enough power. So he raised his level of testosterone to try to, you know, compete on a higher level to you know have a you know to have some type of edge you know in power because he's not really a hard puncher anyway you know he's known as a slick boxer so maybe he felt that stress on him that hey i need i need some power in this fight to make this fight more competitive but still man that's you know that's that's not um that's not any reason to do that you you were never known as a power puncher before and not going to be known as one now so you know just just go about the fight the way the way you have in the past you know or try to find a way to win man so that's all I have to say on that one, man. But I'm going to just do another video on um, uh, Charlo's opponent next. Uh, again, it really sucks. Just, you know, it's just the principle of it. Like we say, uh, I don't care if, you know, people don't feel like he's not the best level opponent. Um, I just feel like, you know, this, this sucks because, you know, again, we have another middleweight 
you know pulling a stunt like this but uh yeah that's all i got on this one um on to the next video make sure y'all subscribe combo breaker 99 i'm out peace